Greetings, fellow citizens. I am the Senate Dude, and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. When we last left off, we broke into someone's house, helped out Pan Am with her problems, whatever they were, uh, and did some more side missions for Wakado for Wakako Okada. And now we are going to go up here and see what we can find at this whatever it looks like to be a mansion here. Wakako Okada. I need someone for a quick and quiet operation. It involves planting bugs in a heavily guarded area. You have the brief. Need it. Alright. Sabotage time, huh? This is a sabotage miss mission. Alright, so we're gonna go into this little thing here. Into this place. And we're gonna see what we can find. Alright. We need to remain hidden. Fucking tiger claws again. Turn that shit off. All right, up here we go. Fuck, can't force it open. Too big. Alright. Oh well. I gotta find a way in. Industrial shutters are on. Yeah, you got a bad feeling. Come here, motherfucker. Alright, kill and hide body. Alright, body hidden. All right, we're in. You're not going anywhere. Our orders were clear. Yeah, I've got it in an empty. Really important fucking word. Hey, where? Oh shit. Camera off. Shit on my face. Fucking dodging. Hey. All right, we made it. All malware. All right, malware has been installed. We need to escape now. I right, need to find a way to escape. Fuck. 
Damn it. Fuck. Shit. I've become really good at stealth lately. Alright. Almost out. I want to eat that. Alright. Drunk it. Do, 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 do. And now I just mosey on out of here like nothing ever happened. Ate some nitroglycerin. They use that to make shit in dynamite. Alright. And now we just leave. And I'll cut that will be happy. Yeah! Well, we gotta go to the drop point to get a bonus. You perform the task with flying cars and surpass my expectations, you will find my additional reward at the drop point. Let's go to that drop point. Man, I got. I made thousands off of that. Let's get an extra reward, shall we? Collect rewards. The job has been completed. Alright, where do we do now? What do we do now? Let's go meet Takamura. I'm not gonna buy a new fucking car. Not yet, anyway. Hold on one second, I want to see something. Venus and furs. Oh shit, I can actually do all these quests. These boots are made for walking. And I should check the notifications on my phone. Alright, let's go meet Takemura. Where is he? He's up there? Aw. Oh. Alright. Alright, Takemura. I understand. Does Arasaka not have enough of its own people? Look around, sir. Things are heating up in the city. Zoot snow, one spark, is all it takes for Japan Town to go up in flames. Riots are always best put down by folks not supporting your brand name. Ah, uh, you are here. Hmm. Hey, Takamoto. Are you gonna let me talk to you? Oh, there you are. Good to see you, Goro. Cool. Good to see you. As it is to see you, V. 
I acquired some information of my own. Do you know who most wished to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His murderer. The irony makes me sick. Huh. Thought Yori wasn't one for tradition. What's in it for Yorinobu? Doesn't seem like the kind who care to honor tradition. That is so. Japanese heritage is one element. Yorinobu will also put on a display of power. The floats are sure to be beautiful, but the wise and I will see in them a hidden message to his foes. What message would that be? I am here, Gumin Domo. Watch your backs. Not one for subtlety, is he? Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. Ah. The dash floats will pass precisely this way. If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak with her in private. Get there how? Why jump? Of course. <laughs> Impossible. Even with implants. Expectations way too high, Goro. Couldn't pull that off even if you still had your fancy implants. I have thought of a solution. While you are occupied with your shady dealings, I learned more about the floats. They are all kept in one place, Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound, find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. All right. Actually sounds doable. Lots of ways to skin this particular cat, you know. Gonna need I know what you need. It is taken care of. I have an infected shot. It was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. So shard, where'd you get it? Where'd you get this shard? Across the canal. Kabuki. <laughs> Might actually be half decent soft then. And if it isn't, got a few tricks up my sleeve too. This is good to know. All right, take the shot. Let us move on. All right. Go over the plan with Takemura. To take control of the float is one thing, but not all. The security concerns me, the snipers especially. I will be an easy target. But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the CD cameras. If we gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. Alright. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. You agree just like that? The risks are considerable. Yeah, well, getting more and more used to that. And now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shot. The camera control room is in front of us. You must get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? I will not touch alcohol. At work. I will watch your back. Now, get to it. All right. Break into the security room. Force open. Classic breaking and entering. Dude, I jumped down like a fucking Jedi. Alright, now. This was easy. Let's see. Install software. Fucking worked. All right. Now let's get back up to Takamura. Don't need those ashtrays. And S systems ours. Done. Systems ours. 
The shard works. Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that... Sit. I have not eaten since yesterday. Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the yakitori today. Anything that isn't local, please. See you tomorrow. I can't believe I'm saying this, but this Saka scum might actually prove useful. He's a well-trained dog, needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. Eat. Hold on, we gotta eat. Hmm. Good food. Mm. Hold on. Eat the food. Gotta keep eating, right? Food. It's good to have food. Eat. Takemoto's not a bad guy. Saka scum to you, I know that. But Garo's not a bad guy. Not a bad guy. He was Saburo fucking Arasaka's bodyguard. Think his pretty eyes landed in that gig? <clears throat> what is this? Hey, Yakitori. Heh, <laughs> Yakitori. Come on, Goro, eat it. I ate mine. I have laid the plan. One. We break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half. We hack Hanako-sama's float. Two. During the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Three. I get onto the float. Four. I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. Uh... Done dumber shit than this before, so... Well, sounds like a suicide run, but... Done dumber shit than this, so. Things even more stupid than stealing from Arasaka. None dumber yet, no. Set the bar pretty high with that one. Now, we part. Reconnaissance is required. You don't know this city. Do don't let him off his leash. Let him stray even a couple of feet, and you can say goodbye to his fucking honor. You're a stranger in a strange land. I'm going with you. Hmm, true. And you with your hands, skills, mind of a thief. Agreed. This we will do together. Cook! Louder! Louder! I have decided to go in the mind of our in the active flesh. Night City security forces. President Myers has he eliminated the last obstacle between himself and the complete power. The they surrendered it to him. Tell me then, what do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that a not a... Arasaka, an empire built to last. Before Yorinobu set fire to it from the inside, all of this began with him. The factions, power struggles, all of this. Ksa. Ksa. That means damn, I think, or damn it. Where's your Nobu's rebellious streak come from? No one knows this. Perhaps uh, I shall ask him in person. Mm-hmm. The factions inside Arasaka. What are they? There are three: Kiji, Hato. And Taka, Kiji longs for stability. The old order. They are united behind Hanako-sama. The liberal wing, Hato, support Michiko-sama, Saburo's granddaughter. I know little about her. And then there is Taka, treacherous dogs who support Yorinobu. Not to mention even smaller factions. Tell me about them some other time. All right. Why Saburo allow it to happen? Why'd Saburo tolerate it all? Can't 
get my head around it. Could get the sun in a short leash. Arasaka-sama was a strong and disciplined man. The strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at a critical moment, he showed a weakness. For Yorinobu? For his daughter. When Yorinobu formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family, Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one word. Yet he did not. For he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorinobu returned, his tail between his legs, she persuaded her father to give him a second chance. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinobu from the consequences of his deeds. Hmm. Might have a change of heart now. Feels like that's about to change. Long as we get Hanako to believe our version of events, conscience could also come into play. Assuming she's got one. We must reach her first. Will you join me? Might as well. Oh, sure. Why not? Let us go from here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come again. So dust and plastic. All right, let's start our recon. All right. Come. I have found a good place to observe. We must just climb up here. Now, this way. Fortune smiles to us. It seems no one is here today. Looks like Darth fucking Mull up there. Alright. Ground floor, get to the roof. I would call this a beautiful view of the city, if... If? If there was anything to admire. Hate Night City that much. Hmm, perhaps I am simply homesick, as you say. Now, you must look for vulnerabilities, weaknesses, what? while I try to think of a diversion. Arasaka cannot discover our intentions. A bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attention. You will have the best view on the left. I will try here. This old scope should be good for something. Shall we begin? Mind running out getting a pizza? Oh, can you run and grab the pizza? Take out the food? No, just no. <laughs> if I had time and ingredients, I would prepare some onigiri with cod, or with grilled salmon. Alright. No, even better, with umeboshi plants. Mmm, Arasaka-sama's favorite appetizer. Simple, tasty, and filling. I found him chewing once, pride on his face. It was a protein bar. Saburu Arasaka with a protein bar? Get out of here. Like a true soldier. All right. Okay, enough. Well, we'll both grow hungry. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. Got eyes in the comm system. It's a lot of guards. I could use comms for a diversion. 
pipes. See him? We could use them to get inside. Footbridge, but it's guarded. We will use it to enter if there's no other way. I love me. Transformer by the wall. See it? We should use it to step up. This is not bad. Looks like a service tunnel by the road there. It could lead to the warehouses. Antenna. Security hub is liable to be in that building. Perfect for sabotage. Camouflage turrets by the gate. A last resort. I do not wish to die there. Trucks drive up regularly. Are we to hijack one? Armored door, sealed tight. Anything more? We're done. I think I've seen everything. We have what we came for. So, we going in? Hmm. Is this what you said before entering Kampik Plaza? I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked anything. We should wait and observe. If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes, we go in. in. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. All right, let's get comfy. <coughs> uh oh. What? No sudden movements. As a... Do you see it? That cat. Ah. Uh, thought they'd all disappear from the city. Fine-looking feline. Thought they'd all disappeared from the city. It is the first animal I see in Night City, except cockroaches, of course. First it was birds, then dogs. Cats actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a Bakaneko. Bakaneko, he also got the pizza. I like how I suggested he get pizza, and there's pizza right there now. Bakaneko? What's that? It is a cat spirit. It brings misfortune. Can restore the dead back to life. Hmm. Believe in ghosts? Believe in ghosts? The relic let you talk to the dead, does it not? I believe we are past belief. My grandmother knew many, many stories about Kitsune, Kappa, Bakeneko too. Where'd you grow up? Where'd you grow up anyway? I am from the slums of Chiba 11. Once when I was desperate to leave there, I... Ah, bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. <sighs> Remember when I was a kid? My childhood? Let's see. Hey, I got an achievement! Racing my bobber for the first time Stand the Bucky's method. Oh, and, uh, first kiss in the middle of a synth cornfield. I remember the chemical stench of the canal, where we boys washed our shirts. Corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slab. Arasaka selecting children, but only the clean ones. Military transporters for a slum? Transporters, you say? Armored and armed. Chiba 11 had the most murders in all Japan. It probably still has. They recruit you for a milita for military service? Let me guess. So they could turn them into Corvo soldiers? Exactly. When they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. In the army, I was given everything I lacked before. Discipline, 
regular meals. And when I proved I was gifted an education. How'd you become Saburo's bodyguard? So how's a corpo rookie go from cleaning latrines to being Saburo Arasaka's bodyguard? The highest grades at the academy serves in the special forces, and Arasaka-sama's a matched eye for talent. You're not saying Saburo fell for you at first sight. To make the right decisions with imperfect knowledge, that is how you become the world's most powerful man. 100 candidates standing at attention. And Arasaka-sama looked into each of our souls and chose the one who would serve him best. All you had to do was kill Arasaka's enemies. And all you had to do in return was kill Saburo's enemies. I sense that you judge me. And yet, you have no right to. Unlike you and your friend, Mr. Wells, I was not arrogant. I did not take the easy path. Saying you got no dirt on your hands. Saying you got no dirt on your hands? There are no clean hands, but it is important how they become dirty. So Spill, how'd you sully yours? Arasaka gave me what no one else could. Values I could honor, live for. This was most important. You dirty your hands for money. I, in the name of principles. I'm not judging you. Wasn't judging you. And true, you oppose the corporations, their order, their world, in a mindless way. Yet you offer no worthy alternative. Take a look around. It's here. Your corporate world in its glorious splendor. You show me filthy streets as if no other world exists. As if nothing else is possible. What of the millions who work for Arasaka and receive stability, safety... The cheap 11 slum rats? They're there, scraping scraps out of scop tins. Corpse decided that too. We cannot fix everything at once. Let's just drop it. Tired of bickering. Let's just drop it. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad. To leave this world. Forget everything. <laughs> Never too late. Never too late to change. What is your expression? One cannot teach an old dog new tricks. Do you know what I think? What's that? That day in Compeq, we both have lost someone important. And we are not at peace with this. So we seek conflict, argue eagerly. Huh, finally starting to make some sense. Finally started to make some sense. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Hanako-sama shall aid us in our mission. Or uh. she'll make sure we die for good. The Bakaneko got sick of us, looks like. It will find its own way. As will we. I think it is time to do something. Hmm? I'm getting worse. Oh, fuck, get worse. You do not look so bad. Oh, that's you talking. Wait for Takemoto to board the elevator. Rumors 
roof. Whoop, whoop, ground floor. Get out. Get out of the car. It told me to go this way. Oh. Okay. Hi there. Psst. Sorry about that. Soup. Okay. Flow 
it's ours to do with as we please. You can fly to Tokyo if you want. Aha! I just may do that. Good luck. Now, it is my turn. Can you see? Teru kills. Even the roof is slowly. Me! The roof! That is your will! There are buildings around. Smaller ones. Sorry. Use them to come down. I like how these guards are doing nothing. Just how I like it. Yep, these guards are buddies of mine. Whew. Shit. Fucking worked. Excellent work, B. Okay, what now? Now we retreat into the shadows and arm ourselves with patience. I will contact you before the parade. Until then, try not to get into any more trouble. As if I wasn't in enough already. Yeah, boy. All right, we need to get. All right, we need to find a road here. Gina Jones. Hey, I heard about a massacre at a homeless camp. Send you the info I have so far, but it's pretty thin. You probably already gathered it's a cyber psycho. Oh, and I prefer if he didn't die. <sighs> All right. Tamara Cosby. You don't see me? Punch! Off a lot of health, she is. Ah, Fuck, I missed! Come on, show me your fucking face. Come on, show it.
fuck, gotta reload. Alright. I got her down. She's down. Uh, good gun you got on you. Too bad it's mine now. Right here. What's here? Alright. Alright. Let's send Regina the info. Ah. Alright, I won't kill any more cyber psychos. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I didn't mean to take those combat boots either. Alright, job complete. And she's not dead. Alright. Anything else? Ah, Arroyo. There's another side job over here. We won't go to the fight just yet. Hey. Uh, give me a chromatic core, please. Oop. Need a little pick me up. <laughs> Got chromatic core. The hell you want the swill for, boss? Heard some batches even glow in the dark. Why drink poison when you can drink spunky monkey? Way better than. You freeze up a lot. One second, boss. Brad? Hey, Brad! Listen, boss, you help me out? Kids on the block been up my ass lately, and you seem real tough. Alright, sure, I'll help. Might as well, since I'm here. Lead the way. Thanks, boss. Alright, follow me. You lost your minds? Get your grubby paws off my bike! You think we're playing around? This is a small price to pay for fucking treason. You still can't let go of that? Shana made a choice. You should be proud of her. Proud? That bitch sold out to a fucking corp! Now it's time for payback. Fuck you, one! This ain't none of your biz! 
Well, guess. You another corporal rat? What's going on here? Relax. Don't got any beef with you. For now. What happened? Your new pal here talked his sister into taking a job at Cedar Tech. Bitch just leaves, doesn't even say bye. We've been running these streets ever since we were kids. Hacking street vending machines, fucking up corpos. It's what we live for. Then what? Now she's too good for us? Double crossing cunt! Oh! You listen to yourselves? And how stealing from poor folk like me gonna make things better? Shana's a grown ass woman now. You should follow her example. All right, boys, leave him alone. Getting back a corpse by stealing from a street vendor says a lot about you. Now back the fuck away from him, or you'll do what? I'll blow your fucking brains out. I could break your jaw, fracture your skull, shoot you. The possibilities are endless. You care so much about a rat fucking trainer that you can die together. Yo, Brad, ain't that? Yo, that's the dude everyone been talking about. When they came back from the dead, you know how many gunks he's off already? And I ain't even talking solo. Shit, he following us? Have they lost their damn minds? Thanks, boss. Thought I'd teach you. Huh? What about your sister's new job? Just between the two of us, you really proud your sister's joined the Zeta Tech fold? Look, I know what you're thinking. Corps are exploiting us. They're turning us into slaves. That's what people say, no? Well, guess what? They never have to worry about putting food on table. Me and Shana take whatever we can get. She's probably running on neuro stims. You're not worried? Hey, you can't have it all. And even if we did, nobody get off their ass and do anything. Well, when you put it that way. You okay? Now that that's over, you okay? Who, me? Couldn't be better. All talk and no action. <laughs> Maybe they should go get a job. Fucking parasites. Well, at least Shana can focus on her job now. No one in the family ever got as high up as her. Anyway, stop by whenever you're around. I throw in a nice discount for you. We'll do, boss. Thanks. Hey, job complete. A day in the life. Alright everyone, well, I guess we'll end it up right here. Thank you all for watching this episode, and I will now yield the floor. Bye!